hi guys in this video we are going to see number system okay this is part 1 of the number system I am going to upload another video for number system that is part 2 in all India Saini school entrance exam the mathematics is playing an important role mathematics carry for 6th standard it is 150 marks for 9th standard the marks is 200 so it is 50 percentage of the maximum mark because for 6th standard the boys will write the exam for 300 marks for 9th standard boys will write the exam for 400 marks out of the total marks 50 percentage is allotted for mathematics itself so I'm going to start mathematics for 6th standard 6th standard entrance exam I'm going to start the mathematics part in this series of lectures first we will see the number system okay following the theory after the theory I will discuss some example numericals based on every topics so the chapter 1 is number system under mathematics okay let's start quickly what is number system according to the definition a number system a system a system in which we deal with different types of number a system in which we deal with the different types of number is called or termed as number system in India we are following Hindu Arabic system in that number system there are 10 digits those 10 digits are 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to 9 it is these 10 digits are used to represent any number you can represent any number for example 523 it's a number it represents some value so it can be represented with used only these 10 digits any number can be represented using 10 digits in Hindu Arabic number system so after that this is something a basic about number system so the important part is the number the types of numbers types of numbers so first in this the natural numbers what is natural numbers the numbers which are used for the counting purpose always we will start the counting from one onwards only not from zero so zero is not the natural number because we always start the counting by 1, 2, 3 like that only. So, these numbers are called as natural numbers. Then next is whole number. What is whole number? If you include the 0, then if you include the 0 with your natural numbers, then it is called whole numbers. So, 0 also included with your natural numbers then these numbers are called as whole numbers next the next important number is prime number what is prime number a number which is greater than 1 and it cannot be divided by it cannot be divided by any other number except 1 and itself for example 2 2 is a number which is greater than 1 and it can be divided by 1 and it can be divided by 2 it cannot be divided by any other number similarly 
if you take phi phi can be divided by 1 or phi can be divided by phi only it cannot be divided by any other number for example 4 you can take 4 can be divided by 1 also it can be divided by 2 and also it can be divided by 4 so you can see this here the 4 can be divided by 1 and also itself it can be divided by 1 and also it, itself and another number that is it can be divided by 2 also so 4 is not prime number because it can be divided by except 1 and the number itself it is divided by 2 also ok so 4 is not a prime number so in this series 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 it goes on like this ok so these are the prime numbers and the least prime number is 2 next composite numbers what is composite number a number that has at least one division at least one division that is here you can say 4 the number which is which is divides the 4 for example 1 this is called division this is division and this is dividend this is called dividend ok so the number that has at least one divisor other than one and itself is called composite number for example 4 has 4 you can divide by 1 and also it can be divided by 4 and also as I told you in the prime number uh, discussion 4 can be divided by 2 also so it is divided by the number which is other than 1 and itself so this is called composite number for example you can simply say the number which are not prime numbers are called as composite number but that is a problem you can simply say the numbers which are not prime numbers are called as composite number but 1 is neither prime nor composite so you cannot simply say that you cannot simply say the numbers which are not prime numbers are called as composite number except one because one is neither prime nor composite if you see four is the smallest composite number next even numbers the numbers which are divisible by 2 are known as even numbers so these are the examples for even numbers here 2 can be divided by 2 and 4 also can be divided by 2 6 also can be divided by 2 so these numbers are called as even numbers so 2 is the smallest even number then odd numbers the numbers which are not divisible by 2 if, if you cannot divide the number by 2 then those numbers are called as odd numbers you can say the numbers which are not even numbers are called as odd numbers okay so you can see that as per the definition 1 cannot be divided by 2 3 also you cannot divide 3 also by 2 because it will give you reminder ok so the number which are cannot be divided by 2 are called as odd numbers so the smallest odd number is 1 next we will see types of divisibility here we are going to see if a number is given if a number is given that is something like 2 4 8 whether the number can be divided by 2 or whether it the number can be divisible by 2 that can be found like the same way 
we have different divisibility rules that is divisible by 2, divisible by 3, divisible by 4, divisible by 5, divisible by 5, 9 and divisible by 10. Here these are some divisibility test for example a number is given whether the number can be divided by 2 that you can easily uh, tell by observing the number itself if the numbers last digit is if the numbers last digit is 24680 if the number is ends with these numbers then the number can be divided by 2 or you can say if the number is ends with even numbers in addition to that you can add 0 okay if the number is ends with even numbers then the number can be divided by 2 next if the number next we are going to see divisible by 3 if the number is divisible by 3 or not how we can find out if you sum the digits of the number if you sum all the digits of the number if that sum is divisible by 3 means the whole number can be divided by 3 for example 2 4 3 if you sum all the digits 2 plus 4 plus 3 it is giving you 9 so this 9 is divisible by 3 so 2 4 3 also divisible by 3 so these are some easy methods to find out the divisibility of a big number for example if you see 2 plus 4 plus 2 in this case this is going to give you 8 8 cannot be divided by 3 so 2 4 2 cannot be divided by 3 other we can otherwise you can say 2 4 2 not divisible by 3 next divisible by 4 here it is simple way if the last two digits of a number are divisible by 4 or 100 the number is divisible by 4 for example 1 4 20 here the last two digit is 24 the 24 can be divided by 4 so 1424 is divisible by 4 here it is 1500 here I have to check the whole number is divided by 100 or not yes we can divide this number by 100 so this number is divisible by 4 here it is 48 the last two digit 48 can be divided by 4 so this is the whole number 1748 is divisible by 4 so you can check whether the number is divisible by 4 by two method one is if you can take the last two digit whether it is divisible by 4 means then the whole number is divisible by 4 otherwise you have to take the whole number you have to take the whole number whether the number is divisible by 100 means then the number is divisible by 4 also okay next divisible by 5 this is a simple way divisible by divisible by 5 can be easily find out from the last digit of any number if the number is finished or end with 5 or 0 then the number is divisible by 5 you can easily tell if the number ends with 5 or 0 then the number is divisible by 5 next divisible by 9 so if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9 then the whole number is divisible by 9 you can see 2 4 3 3 4 3 8 4 5 5 5 these are the examples for divisible by 9 numbers so you can see 2 4 3 if you add all these numbers this will give you 9 so the 9 can be divided by 9 so 2 4 3 is divisible by 9 you can see this number 3 plus 4 3 
plus 8. This will give you 7, 10, 18. 18 is divisible by 9. So, 3, 4, 3, 8 also divisible by 9. Next, divisible by 10. Whether the number is divisible by 10 or not, it is a really easy thing. If the last digit of the number is ends with 0, if the last digit of the number is ends with 0, then the number is divisible by 10. It is 540, it is ending with 0. 1860, it is also ending with 0. So, you can easily find out whether the number is divisible by 10 or not from the last digit of the number. If the last digit is ending with 0 means, then you can, you can easily tell the number is divisible by 0. That is all, all about uh, part 1 of this uh, number system. Hope you enjoyed this video. We will meet in part 2 of number system. Thank you very much.